Dominant Twitter too. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And this is where we talk about the laws of mind that govern our lives. And it's best to know about them because they're principal and they govern your life. It's good to work with them. That way they're not biting your ass. So today we're uh, taking on uh, keeping the outside outside. This was the poll winner at Patreon. And a lot of people struggle with this. You know, when my husband would come home from work, I would say to him, um, that's, that's you being the iron worker. He stays outside. You're home now. You're daddy now. You're the coach. You're the geography teacher and the history teacher. And, you know, you're daddy now. Okay. That iron worker needs to stay outside. And trust me, that was after letting Mr. Ironworker come into the house a few times. And no, no, Mr. Ironworker needs to stay outside because once you walk through that door now, you're not ironworking anymore. You're dead. Okay. So this is the same thing in manifesting. You leave the outside outside. Okay. It, it has no place when you go within to talk to God. And you just go be by yourself. And you pour your heart out. You know, if you get, she's listening, he's right there. Right there in your heart. And depending on how much energy you have inside you, in your solar plexus, you know, and how much passion and feeling you're giving to the one, you know, determines how quickly these things come. The more passion and feeling you put behind it, the faster it comes. You know, so it's balancing this act out. And you don't want to put that passion and feeling into the outside. Okay, because it's just reflecting back at you and it's going to bombard you. All right, your light. You know, don't let it do that to you. No. I'll keep a muted response i basically have the dark screen up and you know i'll think about that and then you go in and give your passion to the christ you go give your love and i mean passion you know i love you i love life i love my jesus i know who my jesus is that's the i am in my heart you know that's my imagination I love it. My mind is God's mind. My will is God's will. You know, and my Jesus, my Jesus can do anything. My Jesus is infinite. My Jesus is spirit. My Jesus it does it all. And I know. I know. <laughs> Nothing can stand in the way of Jesus. He's divine love. You know, he's my sword shield. You know, he's got the life principle and Imagination all working together in one, one mind, God's mind, the universal life principle. You know, is it the one doing this? And for his child, and that one is doing it for his child. And they're working together so that you can join them. That's the higher purpose at work here. How you get there has already been decided. Those are your desires. You desire to be a brain surgeon. You desire to be the head of a company. You desire to be a housewife. You desire to be anything you want. And you don't let people talk you out of it. You know, these, uh, and that's where these isms come in, you know, feminism. That's great. Y'all want to go to work? Go to work. I didn't like it myself. I didn't like working for other people. I could do it, and I did it very well. <laughs> but uh, always uh, something would come out, and I'd get fired, terminated, you know, something. And it was like, why do I keep getting terminated? Because I was applying the same rules to the upper echelon as I was to the lower echelon, and they wanted special treatment. I said, well, if I give you special treatment, then I got to give everybody else around here special treatment. I don't have enough staff to do that. 
which was just plain old logic, and they didn't like that, and, you know, find a way to fire you. And it was different reasons for different things. It didn't matter. You know, the point was, I'm going to apply it to everyone. Don't tell me it's a rule, and then tell me except for that. You know, no, that's not how technology systems work. They don't get special treatment. Okay, they get applied to the same security policy as everybody else. You know, and they want to go around it. No. I don't care how much money they bring to this institution. No. Yeah. And they didn't like that. So, you know, you're fine. But anyways, you keep the outside outside. Once you come into your home, you're no longer... Whatever you do on the outside, you are mommy, you are housewife, you are the chef, you're cooking dinner, you're doing these different things that you do. You know, and you don't bring your business into your home, you don't take your home into your business. These two are separate. Okay? Home is whole and complete, and business keeps you busy. <laughs> Okay, that's why it's busyness. It's business. Okay, it's business, and it teaches you how to be impersonal. Okay, now I'm not gonna listen to that. I'm going to respond later after I've thought about it, and then your response you give to the Christ, and you give your passion to the Christ. You know, and that's your higher self, your I am. In your imagination, all rolled up in one inside you, you are the Christ. So, you know, I, I am the Christ in the name of the Christ. You know, I know the Christ is magnificent. I know the Christ is exalted throughout the earth. I know the Christ is one of many. And I know all those other Christs are coming together to heal my little boy or heal my little girl or whatever it is. You know, you pour your heart out and then you go do the star of David exercise and just be happy and it will all work out and if you're in a you know place where you can't be happy you just lay there and that calm serenity will start you know coming over you and you will become calmer you will notice a difference so the outside does not belong inside it's outside okay it, your light and it reflects you therefore it's a mirror and when you shoot a light at a mirror it starts bouncing all over the place down to they start coming at you like rats you know and rats have a good place too you know if you don't believe that go read charts but so well uh, i hope this helps you know it it really is about you know just that that's that's the outside it's just what we keep busy with. It's what, how we learn who we are. It's the carrot. Okay? It, it's always been the carrot to lead you to look behind the mask, look in your eyes, love yourself. I love you. You know, and just start knowing the power that you have and don't wrap it around your ego trying to get stuff from the outside okay you just go be happy and all that stuff comes to you because you let the universal life force inside of you and it knows you let and it knows who is part of your family and you stated they fall under my protection they're my family i am the christ and you know we are one and i'm going to take care of my family just like you take care of me you know, so I do hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Oh, if you want more, just drop in the comments below. Love it. Thank you for being you. Everything ends. That is always sad. But everything begins again, too. And that's always happy. Be happy. I'll look after everything else.